afternoon, everyone. My name is Baby. I am from Neurofarm. And today, I'm going to tell you a story about Mr. Karya, a farmer from Indonesia. One year ago, he noticed something wrong with his chili. Even with his experiences in farming, he still couldn't identify what happened to them. Then, unfortunately, he experienced the curb failure. Mr. Karya is not the only one. According to FAO, they are up until 40% yield losses each year because of the plant disease. So, we provide the solution for this global issue. Ladies and gentlemen, now I'm presenting to you Dr. Tania, your crop personal healthcare companion. Dr. Tania is a chatbot-based mobile application that able to diagnose the plant disease automatically using image and we use the artificial intelligence technology. Users just need to capture the image of the unhealthy leaf, send it to Dr. Tania, and Dr. Tania will give the comprehensive diagnosis, also with the recommendation treatment, along with related product. We also have the plant catalog. And we use chatbot as our interface, so farmer can adapt easily with our technology. And the revenue comes from the subscription fee and also from the sponsorship fee from the agriculture company that advertise their product in our application. And we targeted 1 million farmers that using smartphone in Indonesia. And we've just learned about three months ago and now we can diagnose more than 33 disease from 14 communities and we plan to be able to diagnose more than 100 disease. And we need the investment about 300,000 US dollars to provide the complete solution for the plant disease for farmers and for enterprise by 2021. And our team consists of the AI engineer also agricultural specialist that will provide the technology for better agriculture. So starting from fighting the crop disease, we can make the reduce the crop failure, increase the farmer income and yield productivity, then we can face the future food needs. Okay, that's all from your farm, more precise and more impact. Thank you so much. Judges, it's up to you. Oh, I seem to be the first person. <laughs> all right, so good job. Um, what's your current traction? How many farmers are currently using this? Uh, yeah, there are more than 14 registered users, then most of them are farmers. They are come from the urban farmers, also from the rural farmers, also come from the hobbyists. Yes, this right now we've just learned about three months ago. Yes. Okay, so you have this is our traction. And this one our targeted in 2021. Okay, so you have 14 farmers? Yes, they're in using three months. So I'm assuming you haven't done marketing in this yet? Uh, sorry? Have you done some, you haven't done some marketing, I'm assuming, right? Until this point. How does that work on uh, the marketing side? Uh, sorry? Have you done any marketing? Oh, yes. Oh, we come to directly for to the farmers' unions, and okay. we also collaborate with some communities. Because in Indonesia, there are so much communities, uh, urban farming communities, also the farmer union is very big number because mm -hmm. I'm trying to understand how you're gonna get to the 100,000 active user here. Uh, okay this is by 2021 because we will we plan to provide the complete solution mm -hmm. for not only for farmers but also for the enterprise so we will make the technology that can cover all the plant disease uh, plant disease requirements that it's not come only comes from farmers so we uh, we projected it will have the more than 1,000 1, active users by 2021. Okay. How, like one beauty of uh, this sort of services is that you can probably have two biologists reviewing a thousand pictures a week. So when do you actually need the AI? Like, like how far can you grow before you need to automate this? Uh, okay, because we use the artificial intelligence to, uh, what is it, to train the all the pictures of the unhealthy list. And, and now we've just have the 14 communities. So we gain the data for, from the governments. Also, we check directly and also from the so many open source that, uh, what's it, that uh, have the sources of the data. So it really helped us to develop until now. 
but but you don't have to wait until your artificial intelligence works before you can sell the service, right? Yes. Okay. Are farmers um, receptive to the new technology, to the app? Yes, uh, great, great question. That uh, We're targeted only the farmers that use smartphones. It's more than 60% 60 in Indonesia, actually. And not only of farmers, and we also targeted the urban farmers. This is uh, someone who plant the, who do planting in maybe their house or maybe ha just have a little fields. And also we targeted the, some researchers and also hobbyists. One, one more, oh, one more. Okay, so in order to diagnose the disease, like, are, do you plan on doing some kind of a hardware thing or just image? Okay, uh, just from imaging. Yes. All right, thank you.